Pickup trucks are among the most vibrant segments in the modern automotive narrative, since car makers are attempting to satisfy the demands of the widest range of buyers. These vehicles provide owners with unlimited work and play opportunities and keep outstanding overlanding potential, which is becoming especially relevant in the era of lockdowns and social distancing. It is hard to predict which new pickup models would eventually end up being the industry's bestsellers. But here's our best try in evaluating which ones are the most anticipated by the driver's community. Before we begin, subscribe to Automotive Territory and fuel your craving for new car releases on a weekly basis. Enjoy the ride! Ram 1500 TRX The Rebel TRX concept that surfaced for the first time back in 2016 is an obvious retaliation to the returning Ford F-150 Raptor. After five long years of efforts to boost the appeal of the brand and excessive R&D, Ram is finally rolling out to the 1500 TRX as the world's most powerful mass production truck. At its heart sits a 6.2-liter supercharged Hemi V8 that traces the concept's 575 horsepower output to 702, while the torque parameter is set at 650 pound-feet. The new Apex Predator rides on a fully reworked high-strength steel frame. It gets full-time active transfer case, a Dana 60 solid rear axle, and uses a unique active damping suspension system with 2.5-inch Bilstein Black Hawk E2 shocks and 13 inches of wheel travel. On the drag strip, the Ram 1500 TRX is a true muscle pickup, hitting 16 pH in 4.5 seconds and doing a quarter mile and 12.9. Ford F-150 America's favorite pickup is not ready to give in to its competitors, so its new generation becomes tougher than ever and boasts its first hybrid drivetrain. The model keeps the proven high-strength steel frame and military-grade aluminum body construction, though every panel of its exterior gets redesigned. You will notice new wraparound bumpers, LED headlights, power dome hood, and higher fenders. The F-150 wears thicker tires and offers 7 trim levels and 11 distinctive grille designs. The previous engine selection of 1 diesel and 4 gasoline mills is joined by a power boost hybrid that mates a 3.5-liter V6 to a 47-horsepower electric motor and a tiny battery pack, ensuring 700 miles range on a full tank of fuel. The old 6-speed automatic transmission is discontinued, so all engines are now mated to a 10-speed gearbox. Finally, the truck gets the fourth-generation sync infotainment, optional zone lighting and interior work surface, plus new driver assists and a pro-power onboard generator to power electric tools. Rivian R1T as we can see from the recently revealed R1T Desert testing, Rivian is committed to squeezing out the maximum of its upcoming truck, both on and off-road. We already knew that the model should be able to tow up to 11,000 pounds, accelerate to 60 in 3 seconds, and wade through 3 feet deep waters. But now, the truck adds to its portfolio rock crawling and high-speed cornering in the sand. As previously announced, the R1T will be arriving in 3 battery options and at least two motor configurations, making from 402 to 750 horses. The anticipated range should be between 230 and 400 miles, while pricing will start from $69,000. We should mention that Trivian has already launched its pilot production line at the Illinois factory. But due to the complications caused by the pandemic, it will be pushing customer deliveries by six months to summer 2021. The best way to support our channel is to smash the like button here and now. Make sure to keep the conversation going in the comment section and let's get back to awesome pickups. Jeep J6 While the 2021 Jeep Gladiator is expected to be just a carryover model, the fans of the brand are loudly demanding a shorter to the version of the pickup which was previously teased by the J6 concept. This truck sits on the Wrangler JL frame and has a 118 inches long wheelbase, ideal for off-roading, but capable to fit a functional 6-foot bed box, hence the name. The J6 pickup mixes classic styling and wears custom metallic brilliant blue paint as a homage to the 1978 Jeep Honcho. 
the model can easily drop its hardtop with just a couple of screws removed, and Mopar equipped it with 10 5-inch LEDs to light the trails. Sadly, the Gladiator G6 remains unconfirmed, but would be ideal riding on 17-inch B-Lock wheels with massive 37-inch tires, and powered by a 3.8-liter V6 engine with 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Tesla Cybertruck The announcement of the Cybertruck was an absolute love or hate situation, when millions of people were blown away by the forward-thinking, bold design decisions and beyond impressive performance, while others openly expressed their hate for the cyberpunk looks and yet again questioned Elon Musk's ability to deliver on his ambitious promises. The Tesla pickup will be offered in three configurations, with one, two and three motors. The rear-wheel drive single will tow up to 7,500 pounds, while the all-wheel drive trims boost this parameter to 10 and 14,000 respectively. Expectedly, the Tesla pickup promises outstanding 250 through 500 miles of electric range and drag racer-like 0 to 60 acceleration of 6.5 to 2.9 seconds. Additionally, the newcomer introduces unique exoskeleton shell with ultra-hard 30x cold drilled stainless steel and armor glass. It has 16 inches of clearance, adaptive air suspension, and the best approach departure angles in the class. Chevrolet Colorado The second generation of this mid-sized truck started sales back in 2014, slowly becoming one of the best-selling vehicles in the segment. During its years on the market, it has been reported for a refresh multiple times, but received only minor changes. In 2021, this will finally change, as the Colorado arrives with redesigned looks, new standard and optional features, and slightly narrower lineup. It now includes just four models, WT, LT, and C71 that are offered in two- and four-wheel drive, and a rugged four-wheel drive only, ZR2. Old trims get lower faces, redesigned grills, new skid plates, and new 17-inch wheels. While the ZR2 also features a lettered front end, Chevrolet embossed tailgate, and a number of off-road enhancements. The powertrain selection remains unchanged. There is a base 2.5-liter four-cylinder with 200 horses, a 3.6-liter V6 with 308, and a 2.8-liter turbo diesel with 186 HP. Lordstown Endurance Under the catchy new name hides a company that has been exploring the concept of commercial plug-in hybrid vehicles for quite some time now. Previously known as Workhorse, the startup acquired the former GM plant where the iconic Hummer H1 was produced and repurposed it to build fully electric pickups. In general, the Endurance keeps the looks of its W15 predecessor, but completely rethinks the PHEV powertrain. All of its motors are placed inside the wheels to make 600 horsepower combined and provide true four-wheel drive capability. The battery of undisclosed capacity is covered by 8 years warranty. It ensures 250 miles of range and supports off-board power for tools and accessories at 120 volts and 30 amps. The Endurance will tow up to 7,500 pounds and has commercial grade toughness. GMC Canyon Priced slightly above its Chevy Colorado sibling, the Canyon is positioned as a more high-end version of this mid-sized truck, and it gets you premium equipment, finishes and materials, but remains mostly the same under the hood. In 2021, it comes powered by the familiar trio of GM engines. A 200hp 2.5-liter four-cylinder, a 3.6-liter V6 with solid 308 horses, and a fuel-efficient 2.8-liter turbo diesel that nets just 186 horsepower, but compensates by offering plenty of torque, 369 pound-feet to be exact, and 25 mpg in the combined cycle. The 2021 Canyon range consists of four models, Elevation Standard, Elevation, the newly added AT4, and the top spec Denali. The AT4 gets an upgraded suspension, four-wheel drive with a rear automatic locking differential, and 17-inch aluminum wheels wrapped in 31-inch Goodyear Wrangler Dura Track tires. 
The Denali is distinguished by a more pronounced grille, 5 inch chromosis steps, large 20 inch wheels, and a more refined interior. Chevrolet Silverado HD Carhartt and Real Tree Special Editions. Both light and heavy duty versions of the Silverado went through a generational shift during the 2019 and 2020 model years. To continue fueling the appeal of this truck and keep the most demanding drivers interested, both are getting limited edition versions in 2021. Namely, they get unique exterior styling developed in cooperation with the outside specialists and stock Z71 off roading packages. In case of the Silverado HD, it was Carhartt who co designed the exclusive mosaic black metallic paint scheme and leather upholstery with unique batching and stitching. The lighter Silverado benefits from a collaboration with Realtree, who helped out in the transformation of the model into an ultimate vehicle for a true fisherman. Finally, the above mentioned Z71 off road package provides this duo with twin tube rancho shocks, protective skid plates, and hill descent control. Nikola Badger Mostly known for their hydrogen-powered semi-truck projects and off-road electric vehicles, Nikola is entering a new segment this year. Their Badger pickup looks like a proper truck and combines the best of two technologies. Developed for heavy-duty use, it is essentially a fuel cell and battery electric hybrid with astounding 600 miles of range. It gets a large 160 kWh pack that ensures 300 miles, while another 300 is a courtesy of 8 kilos of hydrogen converted to electricity in the fuel cell. The Nikola pickup is expected to have the peak output of 906 horsepower and 980 pound-feet of torque, while also being able to tow 8,000 pounds and getting to 60 in 2.9 seconds. The truck is currently available for pre-order in three equipment levels, with fully refundable deposits from $250 to $5,000. GMC Hummer EV GMC are willing to overlook the achievements of their younger competitors and boldly claim that their creation will become the world's first all-electric super truck. By the 22 model year, the iconic Hummer will return with an EV moniker and shall follow the open-air design, meaning that four roof panels and front T-bar will be easily removable. Preliminary data confirms a single as well as all-wheel drive dual and tri-motor configurations with up to 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound-feet of torque. With GM finally budging to the electric revolution, it is definitely game on for the industry as a whole, so stay tuned. Do you agree with this list of the most anticipated pickups, and did we miss any of the highly expected models of the upcoming years? Provide your feedback in the comment section below this video. Do not hesitate to leave a like if you enjoyed our content and subscribe to Automotive Territory for your weekly fix of car news. As always, may the torque be with you!